of fifteen thousand yeah. dollars is their if their annual income. Seventy six under sixty percent is five thousand. Mm -hmm. So if I want to give you a job, so Leroy, uh, I need you to move out of um, Mosby. And you say, you know, okay, that's fine. I can get you a job making thirty five thousand dollars a year. But that's above poverty. So you don't get your benefits now. Meanwhile, you got three kids at home. So we're gonna, once you take that thirty thousand dollars, try to get you an apartment. Then you got to pay for daycare. You still left for what? Nine hundred dollars a month. Then you got to get grass groceries. So it's still a hard job to sell. So there, there's this this saying that that people are saying that people that live in the housing neighborhoods are lazy. They That's don't want to work. That's you know, true. they don't want nothing. That, you know, it, it's a thing out there. What is true, there's lazy people everywhere. Yeah. There's lazy people in rich neighborhoods. There's lazy people in poor neighborhoods. But for the most part, the average person in the project is trying to earn them a living. They're trying to send their children to school. They want better, a better life. They want a better house. You feel me? You were talking about uh, generational people. Mm -hmm. One of the major reasons for that, that I have learned, is that there's nothing put in place for these people to move. Nothing. By that I mean this. If I go out and get a job, my rent will go up, I've got to pay for a babysitter, and in the end you'll wind up quitting your job because you, in order to survive, survive, survive.